In this video, I'll show you how you can add one simple line of ThingScript code to be able to set your own custom hours for any custom indicators or backtesters you may have. Now, by being able to set this custom hours feature, if you will, you can all of a sudden more effectively backtest and optimize your strategies for just the certain hours you may care about. You can even do things like filter out after hours activity so it doesn't affect your PL reports. You can more accurately replicate market conditions, so things like, say, testing a strategy only during FOMC hours, perhaps. Whatever it is, this one line of code allows you to do all of that and more. So let's get started. I'll show you how you can set custom hours within indicators and backtesters through two different examples. Now coming inside of our platform, I have our moving average crossover backtester loaded on. And this is a free backtester that we have available. I'll leave a link if you'd like to follow along, or you can just watch to see what the code is, and I'll paste the actual line in the comment section below. Now I'll open up our moving average crossover code here. And inside of this code, where I like to add our uh, variable, which defines which hours we'd like to trade in, is towards the top, after the input variable, but before any major functions of the code start. So that's right around here, let's call it. So there we can write in the variable, so I'll call it def market hours. And here the function reads the following. If our seconds till time, and in this case the time that I'd like to measure for our starting time is 9.30 since that's when the market's open in Eastern Standard Time. And here if the seconds until that time are less than or equal to zero, meaning this is the opening bell or beyond that, and our seconds Whoops, seconds till time, 1600, which is when the markets close, 4 p.m. Pacific, that 1600 is greater than zero, meaning we're not at the closing bell yet, then return one, else return zero. So very simple one-liner. Once we've defined this, we have a start time right here, we have an end time right here, and market hours is the variable which we can add to any Boolean output. So here, for example, if we take a look at what the backtester is currently plotting, we see it's taking trades during both extended hours, which is the shaded region right here, along with the regular cash session right here. So cash session, shaded region. Now, once we add this line of code inside of our add order code right here towards the bottom, that should then eliminate all of these trades right here inside of after hours activity. So let's see if it does that. So here I can paste in that variable market hours and add it as one additional Boolean check for our opening orders. Same thing I can do for our short side as well, market hours and, and this way we've now connected the variable we just created to our actual outputs. Now once I click apply, all of these should disappear. So let's see if that happens, apply and boom. Okay, okay and only the trades within the regular cash session hours are the ones that are actually taken and counted for your PL. Now let's use the same line of code and I'll show you how you can repeat this process for indicators. I'll copy paste this line, market hours, close this out. Let's add in something like say our simple breakout tool indicator here and I'll remove our back tester, apply. So here we can see it's taking signals in after hours activity as well along with regular hours. Let's say we wanted to add in the same time restriction here. So I'll paste in that code after the input section before the code actually starts. So towards the top, market hours is now the variable we need to incorporate into the output, the Boolean condition that paints these signals. And that's our bullish and bearish variables right here. So there I'll paste in if market hours and so we've added this as one additional check and for our bearish side as well. Now once I click apply, we should see these arrows all disappear, apply, and we see just the arrows during the cash session plotting. So that's how you can limit certain hours, you can restrict certain hours. In case you wanted to be able to change these hours from the studies menu as well, maybe you're doing some testing, a very simple way to do that is to add in two input variables. So we might say something like input start time is equal to 930, input end time is equal to 1600, and instead of specifying hours here, we can just specify those variables. And now if I click apply, okay, I can change that directly from the studies menu. So maybe here instead of 930 to 1600, maybe we want to change this to uh, be something like say 1 
1600 all the way up to 1600 and if I click apply we can now see more arrows are plotting after that specified time we used for our start time. So hopefully through this video you learned that one very simple line which is our market hours is equal to if seconds until time our start time is less than or equal to zero and seconds till time our end time is greater than zero that gives us a very easy way to check between two different time periods and implement that into our plot conditions to limit and restrict hours within custom code. I hope you found this video useful along with the two examples. In case you'd like one more example, you can also reference our moving average pullback backtester tutorial in which we added a very similar line of code not too long ago. I'll leave a link to that for those of you interested in more examples. Alright, take care everyone, good luck trading, and we'll see you in the next update.